Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we are going to learn how to handle frames and iframes in Catalan Studio and I will go very basic step by step and we will learn what is an iframe, how to recognize frames, how to create locators for frames and how to handle frames or iframes in Catalan Studio. So let's get started and before I create a test I will go to Google and search for what is iframe and here we have got this definition from what is dot com so I will go here and here let us see the definition it says an iframe or inline frame is an HTML document embedded inside another HTML document so you will see a lot of websites today where you will see some sections which are coming from some different website or some different source there are some advertisements also shown into a web page inside an iframe so this is an HTML document embedded inside another HTML document if I go and search for iframe examples and let us see some examples for iframes I can go to this W3 schools website and if I go here you will find some examples of iframes so here you can see these are some examples I will scroll down and let us see some demo and here you can see a demo here this is a frame or an iframe I will click on this try it yourself so you can see how does exactly it looks like and I will also copy this link and make it available in the notes so that you have all these links for reference and all the notes will be available to you so here this is an example of an iframe and you can see this particular section which is highlighted in this blue color is an iframe and if I do a right click you can see it gives me option of reload frame so if I do a right click here I get an option for reload frame and also view frame source so this is a way to recognize a frame or iframe on a browser or a web page if you are getting the options view frame source or reload frame that means this is a frame or an iframe and also you can just do a right click and go to any of the inspect inspect any objects within the frame and in the DOM you can again see the frame text or the iframe text so if I go here you can see this is a iframe tag here and the objects will be inside this iframe tag so these are the ways how to recognize an iframe and then there is a difference between frame and iframe so if I say frame versus iframe I will show you an example so here we have a stack overflow article and then another articles as well and nowadays mostly iframe is used frames are mostly not used uh, since HTML version 5 so here you can see the difference is iframe is able to float within the content of the page so a frame is a set section whereas iframe can float and a frame is inside a frame set also if I go to this page again let me also copy this links uh, all these links and make it available in the notes and this as well this will be easy for you to refer and all this notes will be available in the description of this video so here you can see a frame is an HTML tag that is used for dividing the web page into various frames or windows and it is usually inside a frame set tag and here iframe is also a tag used in HTML but it specifies an inline frame that means it is used to embed some other document within the current HTML document so if you just want to uh, categorize or divide your web page into sections you can use frames and if you want to embed some other HTML document within your web page you can use iframe however to handle frames and iframes in Catalan Studio or Selenium is similar let me show you an example for frames I will go to Selenium API documentation link and here is the link let me go here and you can see three frames here one two and three and this is one first frame second frame and third frame I will also copy this and paste it in the notes and you can see we have these frames if I do a right click I am getting reload frame and view frame source again if I do a right click here I am getting the options and here as well I am getting the options so this is uh, these are frames and if I go to any of the object inside the frame and say inspect I will show you in the DOM we should be getting a frame tag so this is the object and you can see this is inside a frame tag 
and the frames are inside a frame set tag so you can see frame set and then frame and also if i hover over this it is highlighting first frame if i hover over this it is highlighting the second frame and if i hover over this it is highlighting the third frame you can see it is highlighting it here so these are the frames in this web page so the process to handle frames and iframes is similar let me now go to my catalon studio and i will go to the test cases folder and in the earlier video we have already seen how to handle alert pop-up boxes and we have these tests i have uh, categorized them inside this alert pop-up folder so i will now go to the test case folder do a right click and i will create a new folder and i will name it as frames and now i will do a right click inside frames folder and create a new test case and i will name this as test one and i will show you how to record uh, the test but before that let me show you a manual way so i will click on this add button and i will add a keyword open browser and i can then add navigate to browser so i can also go to keywords browser from here and i can go to the web ui keyword so i'm going to built in keywords built in keywords web ui keywords and i will go to browser and then we have navigate to url i can drag and drop it here and then i will give the url here so i'm using this api documentation page of selenium and i will go here and say okay and now i have to click so i will say click and i have to click an object so to get the object i can either create a locator or xpath manually or i can go to this spy web i will go here so it will open the spy web object spy utility and i will give the url and start so it will open the web page and i will also navigate here and yes now you can see i am getting all the objects so i will go to this object and press alt and twiddle key on the keyboard and it has captured this so you can see the this is captured and if i go to this object this is the locator which is being used now the good thing with catalon studio is you can notice here it has already captured this inside a frame so it has already uh, taken this frame as a parent object and i will show you this later how exactly you can capture and record with frames but for now i'm just going to use this particular xpath or locator i will copy this and i'm going to close this window and i'm going to manually create the object so i will go to object repository and do a right click and say new folder and say selenium documentation page and i will create a new object so i'm showing you this to show you what will happen if we do not uh, use the frames or do not switch to the frames so i will say this is a link com dot thoughtworks.com you can use any name but it is always useful to use some meaningful names and uh, sorry description can be optional i can just say okay and now inside the locator i will go to xpath and i will paste this xpath so this is the xpath now i will save i'll go back to my test case and also i can say close browser at the end and i will save and run it so i will run it on a chrome browser and let us see the output so it opens the page and now it is trying to find the object that we have given with the xpath locator and it has failed if you go to the logs you can see here it is saying unable to click on this object and it is not able to click on this particular object so the reason is because that object is inside a frame this object is inside a frame and we have not yet switched to the frame so we have to switch to the frame and then only we can interact with the objects inside the frame so if you go to your catalon studio and here if you go to the keywords browser at the left margin we have this keywords browser if you go here and inside the web ui keywords 
we have a section for frames and we have switch to frame and switch to default content so I need to switch to frame before I can interact with the object I will drag and drop it here and I will move it up before I click on the object I have to switch to the frame and I also have to give the object for the frame so if I go here if I go to the DOM let me see this is the frame so this is the frame that I want and here you can see we have a name and we have a title so I can create a locator for this particular frame and here I can use any tools as well so I have a crow path extension added to the chrome this is a, a plugin for chrome and firefox browser and here I can create a xpath so I will say forward slash forward slash frame so this is a frame tag and I will say at name equals so I have to give a name and here I can see the name of the frame is package list frame so I will copy this and I will use it here and if I click enter you can see it is saying one element matching so that means it is able to identify our frame and it is also highlighting the frame you can see it is highlighting it here with this green border so that means it is able to highlight and identify the frame I'm going to take this X path and go to my catalog studio and again I'm going to the object repository and create a new test object and I will say this is name is frame 1 now you can also identify frames with different uh, locators here so I'm just going to use this X path and save and in my test case I will say switch to the frame and here is the frame frame 1 and then I will say click on this object so I think I missed on uh, adding the objects in the earlier step but even if I do this let me just disable this switch to frame let me disable this and run this now so this was a mistake I did not give the object for the uh, click action but now I'm I have given it and let us see what happens now and it is still trying to find that object but it should fail because we have not switched to the frame and you can see it failed so it failed and it failed here and it is saying unable to find the object or click on the object this one so now we will say switch to frame so I will again enable this and save my test case so now we are switching to the frame and then clicking on this object so I will run this now and let us see the output so it opens a chrome browser and goes to the page and yes it was able to do it and it was very fast so we could not see but you can see in the logs everything is fine and everything is running successfully so here again I need to give some timeout for switching to the frame I can give some timeout however it was able to run properly and it was able to click on this object now if I try to record this or if I try to go to this object and you can see this is the object that we are trying to click and this is inside a frame and if you see in Catalon Studio we already have this section have a parent object or have a parent frame I will say yes this has a parent frame and I will browse and the frame that I had earlier used here in the objects I'm going to select this and say ok and now this object is using this frame so now I can go to my test and I do not need switch to frame I can just disable this and also in case you are using switch to frame then after using after clicking on the object or doing action inside the frame you also have to use switch to default content so this will come out of the frame so if you want to then uh, do any actions on the main page you cannot do unless you switch to default content so you have to do that but now in Catalan studio it will be taken care of because we have already given the parent frame for this object so now I have disabled switch to frame and if I run this now let us see the output 
so it goes to chrome browser and goes to the url and everything is fine so you can see it is done and there are no errors and everything is working fine so with catalon studio you can handle it like this you do not have to use switch to frame or switch to default content also if you uh, spy the objects or do a recording let me try to do a recording i will say i will create a new test case i will say this is test 2 and this time instead of doing a manual edition i will click on this record web and in the record web window i am going to this selenium documentation page the same page and i will start recording on a chrome browser now here i will click on this object and you can see it has recorded the click event i will go to this uh, here in the second frame i will click on another object and then here in the third frame i will again click on some object and it has recorded all the three clicks and it has also recorded the objects now if i i will stop this recording and if i click on this show captured objects you can see they all are coming with frames with a parent frame so i will say okay here and i will store all the objects and i will store all the objects and if i go to this objects repository you can see for all these objects that I am clicking it, there is a parent frame so there is a parent frame here and the frame is also recorded here if I go here this is the frame similarly for the other objects com.thoughtworks.selenium there is a parent frame and it is recorded here so all the objects have a parent frame and all this is taken care by Catalon Studio I do not have to manually do anything if I go to my test and I will run this let us see the output and this will be similar in case you are, you have iframes so i'm showing a demo for frames but it will be similar for iframes as well and you can see all the actions are successful and in the logs everything is passed so this is how you can handle iframes and frames in catalon studio i hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching